Good morning guys, what is going on? I have a very special friend here. This is Megan. We've been friends since about, what, fifth grade? Mm -hmm. Summer after sixth grade, lifeguard camp. And you guys have seen her in a few videos before, but this is Matt, her boyfriend. They live in Virginia and they are down here because it was just Thanksgiving. And we are excited because we are gonna go try to catch some lobsters. It's a little bit chilly. It's a very cloudy day today. So hopefully we find some lobsters and don't freeze our butts off. So wish us luck. Yeah. You got your rash guard because it's so cold, huh? No, I got my wetsuit top on two millimeters. I'm not messing around. I'm not trying to be cold. At this point, I kind of just say it because I know you guys are all going to make fun of me, but you know, I grew up in Florida. I'm used to it being 90 degrees, the water being almost 90 degrees. So when that water temp hits the 70s, I know you're all going to make fun of me, but it gets a little chilly for me, okay? And it's a cloudy day. So, you know, you don't get out of the water and it's not 90 degrees to warm up. Go ahead and make fun of me. I'm ready for all the comments. <laughs> so Victor's gonna jump in at the first spot and let's see what he can find. Go ahead. There you go, first shot. First lobster of the day, Megan jumped in because Victor found two and she already got the first one. Woo! First wow, lobster. Wow, I couldn't have done it without this net, Vic. There you go. <laughs> nice job, Meg. First one of the day. I didn't yeah. even think it was going to be legal. So what, Vic tickled it out? Yeah, Victor yeah. tickled it out. Perfectly. He just sat there in the sand, nice yeah. and easy. He let right me catch my breath before diving down. Yeah, I was wondering when <laughs> Megan was going to come down. <laughs> good job. I'm not good at this anymore. You're a little rusty. It's a okay. Rusty. Let's put it in this form. Nice. First lobster definitely spooked the second one because he went like seven feet back down in that tunnel. He's not coming out. He's a lost cause. Brooke, he shot way back in. So we'll go check another spot. You found it already? Nothing? All right, second spot. It's a bus. Victor just checked it. Nothing there. And it just started pouring on us. <laughs> freezing. <laughs> hey, the Virginia girl says it's freezing. Victor just found about four lobsters at this spot. So he just anchored the boat, about to jump in. Got my net and tickle stick ready to go. Let's go catch some bugs. Are you wearing fins? Oh! <laughs> I forgot them. <laughs> She's small. Gotta let it go, it's too small.
definitely small. I wonder if someone came here. Are right there here. any bigger ones than that? Yeah, right here. Oh, the rocks are bigger ones. Sky bigger or is this not cool? This, I don't even need to measure it. I can tell it's too small in my hand. One. They're all super sluggish. Small! That was three lobsters that were too small. So there was an actually, there was a broken antenna here, which means that I think someone else was here. Maybe they caught the legal one. So I think our next plan is to try going shallower and check shallower. Maybe if we go shallower, we might have a little better luck. I found two. I found one even smaller than this, and then I let it go to get this one because this one was bigger, but. Are you uh, sure? That one looks like it would be a keeper. Try no? it. I mean, if you're measuring it. I just measured it, he's small. Okay. But it's really cool because they're just out in the open and uh, they're not rocked up, so they're pretty stupid and they're just staring at you from the surface. It, it got pretty clear. Like you could see it from the surface now. It's the first two I've seen. to each other. That was the biggest one out of all three. Megan's coming in with you. This guy. Cool. All right, we finally got another one in the cooler. So on a day like this, when they're very few and far between, it's hard to like anchor up the boat and get in the water. So we just got Victor and Megan in the water right now doing some work and I'm just waiting for them to uh, catch them and come up to them and Matt's netting them. <laughs> so strange because you'll go from seeing none and then all of a sudden there's just four and they're all sprawled out. The day started out a little slow, but we're getting them now. Both too small.
got one. Meg got one. Yay! Nice job. With my custom net. How do you like that thing? Love it. It's actually great because I missed him at first and he was running away from me. So because this net is so long, I could reach him. Perfect. Reach behind him and gun him on the second try. Good job. Catching doubles. Look at this. Double in the net. <laughs> they were walking together. Uh -huh. You just lift them right up. Megan, does your mom have dinner plans yet? No. You want me to text her and be like, we got lobster if you want lobster for dinner? Yeah. Can you measure these? We will. Yeah. Good job, Beck. That was cool, Victor. Good job. Okay. Triggerfish following us? Yeah. Woo nice job. some very very rough weather the last like week and these lobsters are all stirred up from it being murky and rough and so they are not in their usual rocked up hiding spots they're kind of just moving around trying to find a new place to hang out so that's why they're just catching them in the middle of nowhere today so it's always fun when you catch them like this obviously because you don't have to tickle them out from under a rock so it's a pretty special way to catch the lobsters Well, that was 
all of a sudden that was a line of like six or seven and I just picked out the biggest one. They've been getting a lot of short ones, so I just wanted to get the biggest one out of that group. I tried to get the second one, but I missed it. <laughs> Lobster cheers! <laughs> there we go. Both legal. I missed it and Meg went down for backup and got the other one. Teamwork. Heck yeah. Lobster diving together since... What? 26... 2006? Yeah, we'll throw in some old pigs here. <laughs> Oh, 
lines look too small, so don't even bother. I am cold! <laughs> well, it, our limit would have been six per person, so it would have been 24. But uh, we're gonna get out, head home, clean the lobster, clean the boat. Fun time. We had a great time. Alright guys, we got 20 lobsters today. We had a pretty incredible day. I am very, very proud of Megan. She hasn't dove like that in a really long time and she was doing really great in about 25 feet of water. So, woo, good job. But uh, we got dinner. <laughs> All right guys, so we are back at the dock and it's time to clean up our lobster catch. But before we do that, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the nuts and tickle sticks that we used today. Um, I hand make these lobster nets and tickle sticks and I sell them on my website, floralobsternets.com. Um, we didn't really have to use the tickle stick much today. We did at that first spot to get out those few short ones, but typically you would use this to take the lobsters out of the rock and then use the net once the lobster comes out. Later on in the day, we were only using the net because the lobsters were completely out, but it's the perfect thing to just put behind their tail like this and just layer and just lower it on top of them and then grab them once they get in the net. They usually shoot back into the pocket at the back of the net. You guys seen us catch plenty of them today. So if you guys are interested, floralobsternets.com. If you guys are shopping for the holiday season, make sure you check it out. Um, a big thank you to everyone who has bought them and helped support me. I also sell um, lobster gauges. You legally need to have a lobster gauge on your boat if you are catching lobsters. This is the biggest one of the day. Um, I'm pretty sure Victor caught this big boy. But what you do is you put the front of the lobster gauge between their eyes on the hard part of the shell and this one is legal by about an inch. If this fell towards the back of the head like this, it would have been a short lobster. We caught a ton of short lobsters today. So when the gauge falls behind the head like that, it's too small, but this is a big boy. I also sell mass strap covers and t-shirts, so check it out, floralobsternets.com. Now, let me show you guys how to clean up a lobster. So what I always like to do when I clean the lobsters is I take one hand on the head, one hand on the tail, and I always do this over the water because lobsters actually have blood and the blood coagulates and gets really hard and turns almost into like glue if you do it on top of a surface like your fillet table or on the boat or something like that. So do it over the water. One hand on the head, one hand on the tail, and just give it a twist. You see that? That's all, mix a little bit of salt water as well as the lobster blood. And then you're gonna break off the tip of the antenna. And then what you're gonna do is take the antenna. It has backwards facing spines on it. And what you're gonna do is get out the digestive tract of the lobster. So you stick it in there and it's gonna grab that digestive tract. And that is the only thing that you don't, I pushed it out the top. <laughs> okay, well sometimes that happens. It pushes out the top, but there you go. That is the one thing that you don't want to be eaten in this tail. If you leave that in there and you cook it, you know, it's the lobster poop. There's sand in there and stuff. Just gross. So get rid of that piece. But normally you stick it in there and you can pull it out. It doesn't always pop out the top like that. Beautiful lobster tail. Ready to eat. So when you get a bigger lobster like this, you can eat these legs. You can boil them and break them apart and eat um, the meat that's inside of them. A lot of times people get mad if I don't eat the lobster legs, but you know, some of them are smaller and there's not a lot of meat in there. There's also meat in the knuckles here. And you could always make lobster stock out of the heads and things like that. So we're going to clean up the rest of these lobsters. Then I think I will see you guys in the kitchen either tomorrow or maybe the next day. So I will see you guys there. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So it is time to cook up our lobsters. Megan and I split them and she brought some home last night and had it for dinner with her family. Unfortunately, she can't be here, be here for dinner tonight, but I got my whole family coming over. So what I did was I took all of my lobsters out of the shell and cut them into halves. So it kind of looks like we're making uh, some lobster lasagna here in this baking dish, but you know, I don't really bake lobsters often, but that's what I feel like doing tonight. I'm gonna bake the lobster and kind of do like a recipe that is my dad's favorite recipe that I do on fish. So we're gonna try it on lobster tonight. We're gonna start off with some branch and vine Meyer lemon olive oil. This stuff is absolutely delicious if you guys have never tried it. So we're gonna go in with some of this. And just for the fun of it, we're gonna 
go in and give these guys a little massage. Spread that olive oil around. Now we're gonna go in with some salt, some pepper, garlic powder. Running low on the good stuff, huh? Yeah, we need to hurry up. Time for the very controversial ingredient. A lot of people don't think Parmesan, a lot of people just don't think cheese belongs on anything seafood wise, but I beg to differ. So we got some fresh, well it's not fresh, <laughs> some grated Parmesan cheese, fresh out of the container. But I love making fish like this, baking fish with some cheese like this, and it is always phenomenal, so I'm sure it's going to be great on lobster. And then lastly, we're gonna top it off with some paprika. And we are ready for the oven. All right, so we are serving our baked lobster with some pasta, and we're gonna start working on our sauce now. We got some butter in here, and we're going in with two chopped onions. So our onions are nice and tender, and now we're going in with two heads of garlic. If you ain't wearing the cutest outfit in the world of a tropical plant, what are you even doing, man? Yeah, what are you? You're looking good tonight, Brooke. Oh, wow, thank you. Look at this. It's looking good. Thank you, Ink. All right, we don't want to burn our garlic, so. All right, now we're going in with some chopped tomatoes. All right, now we're going in with some white wine. Going in with our lobster. So our wine has reduced some, and now we're going in with some better than bouillon chicken. Um, like to make chicken stock. <laughs> so that's what we have. We're going in with two cups of that. Next thing, we're going in with some heavy cream. Some salt, as well as pepper. Last thing going into our sauce is some fresh chopped basil. Yummy looking sauce. It's gonna be so good. I'm making my lobster like you like your fish. Parmesan. Oh yeah. Okay. So Parmesan crusted lobster. Parmesan lobster and uh, just some pasta. Some pasta with some kind of yummy buttery sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How the lobster were walking yesterday. Yeah, you missed out. Was it a good time? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Clear. It took us a while. It took us a while to find them, but once we found them, it was incredible. Well, that lobster meat looks good. What depth was it? 20. 22. Oh, really? That's a little deeper than some more. That's cool. She's got a little bit of um, like lemon or lime on there too, doesn't she? She's got uh, lemon olive oil. Oh man, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. I had a lot of fun yesterday. Uh, being able to put Megan and Matt on the lobster yesterday, which was really unique because we had kind of a migration. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, so it's really special when we get to experience it, especially in that clear water. Normally when we see them, it's like murky, four feet, you're completely disorientated, but it was really neat to see them. And 
that line moving around, just seeing how cool nature can be. The fact that a creature this big, that's basically a saltwater bug, knows exactly when and where to migrate, and it just amazes me every single day in the ocean. It's something new. And Brooks lobster dish, of course. You can zoom around the table. Every single plate is empty. It was amazing. Thank you. It was amazing. Um, I feel like I gotta start watching like cooking competitions so I can have like better ways of describing the meals because you know like Fisher has said it's the best lobster he's ever had and I agree. So I gotta I gotta step it up. But a fabulous meal. For, well done. Thank you. I think you guys just haven't had lobster in a while, and that's why you think it's your favorite. <laughs> Mackenzie? Um, I think that lobster makes everything better. Um, pops, pasta and lobster are like two of my favorite things. Um, this was really good. It was really like light and like citrusy, but it was really, really good, really delicious. Good job, Brett. Thank you. Mom? I agree with everyone. The lobster was super tender. Um, we never bake it. I would love to have it again, just like it, baked with uh, this light tomato sauce. Um, delicious. Good job, Brett. Thank you. I thought it was terrific. I, I seen it, as soon as I seen it on the plate, I could tell it was gonna be delicious, and it was. Thank you. So Florida lobster isn't inherently like easy to cook. So when you get something that tastes this good, made with lobsters we catch out here, you know a lot of skill went into it. And um, I'm a big fan of like lemon flavored seafood and everything, so it was my favorite lobster I've ever had. Brooke thinks I'm exaggerating, but it was super <laughs> tender and the taste is amazing, so perfect Thank marks. You. Honestly, it was very like light and fresh. Um, I love the lemon flavor in it. It was really good and I'm just happy that I get to share it with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So that was my first time ever cooking lobster like that, like I told you guys. That branch and vine lemon olive oil really shined through and everyone really enjoyed that on the lobster. So I think this is definitely gonna be a recipe that I keep very simple, easy to do, delicious, so give it a try. Um, yeah, we had a ton of fun. I already edited all of the diving footage earlier today and Victor saw some incredible stuff while he was in the water. like amazing lines of like 14 lobsters going on. I think I only saw like seven, like groups of like seven like that. So they saw some really awesome stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.